I think the benefits um, from BIM, it, it has to come really from, I think, the culture of the companies involved, the businesses involved, the, the individuals as well, the mindsets as well. It's not just about the technology, it's not just about one thing, it's about several things coming together and working together as one. So we've seen some phenomenal success um, on certain projects where businesses have almost acted as one and seen each other as construction partners, more so than say subcontractors, you know, they, they almost act as one and that's, that's when we've seen some great results. You know, win together, lose together sort of mentalities and, and really sort of fostering a culture across the different businesses where, you know, their, their people work together, the technologies talk to each other, improving communication, uh, sharing data, and really sort of really trying to achieve a great result across the board. And, and our technology, I'm happy to say, is we've got a great stack, we've got a great end-to-end -end stack that talks to each other really well and provides real good added value. But on the flip side as well, when customers decide and need to use other software, that's great. We've got a, an open story as well, open access to different programs that, that talks well to other, other, other systems to, to give the customers the chance to choose what they need to use uh, for a, a particular BIM project. Um, you know, adopting a best practice style, if you like, best of breed. So giving them the chance to choose what they, they want to use for that specific project. It's about the customers just getting what they need from the technology you know, to ultimately be, be successful and, you know, achieve all of the great benefits around, you know, reducing rework and um, being more efficient and just ultimately improving their project execution collectively as well.